Let's all systems go at Fitz University for today's General Assembly. The students, former student leaders, academics, parents and struggle stalwarts are expected to attend. It's the third time such an assembly has been called since 2004. Mediation processes continue at Wits University ahead of the General Assembly scheduled for Friday. The university management has deliberated a pledge on access to higher education, which will be declared by the Chancellor at the Assembly. The mediators put together a draft statement yesterday. That statement will now be negotiated in different constituencies. So the students will look at it, they'll workshop it. The staff members will. We've just come out of a Senate meeting where they've broadly accepted most of the wording, but there are some changes that will have to be made. It'll have to go to council, the executive management, support staff. So they'll all workshop it today. They'll make whatever changes or suggestions that they want to have made. And by tomorrow, a final version will be read out um, at the General Assembly. However, students remain resolute on their goal for free tertiary education. As students, we boycotted going to Senate for simple reasons that uh, most talking must happen in the, in the student assembly. There is no time to have discussions and engagement behind closed doors and boardrooms where leadership can be bought with cheap biscuits and a cup of rooibos tea. The General Assembly is expected to be attended by students, former student leaders, academics, Parents and struggle stalwarts such as Winnie Matigizela Mandela. Vitz has in turn warned that should an agreement not be reached by all parties involved, the university may have to suspend all academic activities for the year. We are faced with three scenarios on Monday. The first scenario is we go ahead, we try again with private security and the police. Um, however, we did try that this week and that wasn't very effective. The second point is that we shut down completely. That means everybody moves out of residences immediately. It means that um, every, we stop the academic program and, uh, for an indefinite period and we decide when we want to come back. Meanwhile, students have threatened a national academic shutdown if they sold demand for what they call free decolonized education in South Africa is not met. With Nomusa Pungula and Kani Mapanga, Wits University, 8 and 7.